welcome back to Dracon's Plays, The Evil Within 2. Alright, let's go through that bolt door then. Alright. So that points right towards that unknown resonance, doesn't it? And that's a big point. Let's see, 33 of 40 files, 8 of 11 slides, 18 of 24 memories. We're going to bump that up to 19 now. 21 of the lockers. Gotcha. 31 of the skills, 40 of the weapon upgrades. I'm not even halfway through those. 16 of 20 pouches, though. Sixteen of twenty pouches. Just out of curiosity, can we actually see No, it doesn't show you how many out of how many here. I know I got all medical. I think that's all the warden crossbow. There might be a third one. I think there's a third assault rifle. I think we have all sniper, all shotgun, and all pistol, potentially. There might be another pistol. So the way forward is up above in that lab. This place is all jacked up, isn't it? What was Mobius doing with them? Nothing good for the looks of it. A bunch of shotgun shells bunch of nails. Oh boy! Those are just goop. Protective suit required. They're, they're literally bodies stacked in the hall with garbage. What the heck happened over here? Looks like it goes down forever. Huh. I'm gonna get pushed down or something stupid, aren't I? This is an entire optional side area. Computer file. Pit observatory. It's lonely in here and creepy. Dumping these bodies, these things, into the pit. And they just keep coming. How did I end up with this detail? I've been hearing things too. Voices coming from the pit. But that can't be. If they aren't coming from the pit, then they're in my head. And that's even worse. Hallucination is one of the symptoms. But it can't be infected. It's not a virus or a bacteria. It's a mental thing that can only afflict citizens whose memories has been rewritten. At least that's what they told me. Crap, it's... I've got to keep it together. It's just loneliness that's making me think like this. Loneliness and being around these freaky corpses. It's not the phenomenon. Oh no. It's coming. I gotta get out of here. This thing...
I never actually got the resonance point. This thing's freaky. Like, this thing is straight Japanese horror. Yeah, I really think that entire thing with Sykes was supposed to happen later in the game. It just happens that you get there earlier. Could you face the other direction, please? Psst. Honestly, it's hard to tell which direction it's facing. actually walking. Hearts just switch sides. That's great. Oh boy. Okay. What the crap? Well, that's not great. It can just pick up and move the environment. Great, so on top of going through at least doors, it can move crap on me.
What, do I have to go straight across? boy. This is something else. It, it keeps checkpointing me anyways. Face the other direction, please. That thing again. Why is it after Ooh. me? I saw it there and it disappeared. That was close. Letter from Police Chief. November 17th, 2014. Jim here, and just a quick note to give you an update on the Castellanos slash Beacon situation. We're sending Sebastian for mandatory counseling. The Beacon incident needs to be kept under wraps, and the good detective is our only loose end. We have many operatives in KCPD, but not enough to ensure total information blackout. Fortunately, our staff psychologist is on the organization's payroll. Once we determine how much Castellanos knows, we can easily instill self-doubt through these sessions. But when we're through with him, Sebastian won't be sure if he went of what he witnessed at Beacon was real. Not that he needs much help. He's been stumbling through his assignments like a zombie. Poor son of a gun is obviously having trouble dealing with whatever happened to him in there. I almost feel bad for him. He's known the guy for over a decade. It's like he's a different person now. But that's the price of progress. If you want to make an omelet, you gotta break an egg or two. James Vendrick KCPD. Maybe Kidman was right. They're everywhere. They were right under my nose the entire time. 35 of 45. Thirty-six of forty-fives. Torn psychological evaluation report. Top half of the paper's been ripped off. Okay, here's the other half of that we got in the... What was that, chapter three? Be kept on duty and observed. The information being gained from his experience in STEM can be invaluable to the organization. It has been positioned that STEM immersion could have long-lasting residual effects. Detective Cassiano says it's unique in that he entered and left STEM without standard preparation or memory overwrite. We could learn a lot about the mental repercussions of STEM used simply by letting him go about his business while we observe from a distance. I will continue to track Detective Castellanos' mental state, or state via our mandatory or mandated therapy sessions and will report any findings to the organization on a weekly basis. Walter Harrington, psychologist. Yeah. Damn. Maybe it's just Mobius were using me as their guinea pig. Long-lasting residual effects. They knew Stem would scar me like this. A way out? Did say exit there, didn't it? Oh, that's freaky. Nothing changes. 
it's me. From the first game. My fault. It's all my fault. What the hell is this? Can't move on. Can't move on. Huh. That's curious. The source of my pain is me. The part of me still stuck in stem. No, I'm wrong. I will get out, but without you. Okay, just shoot yourself or your past self that's been trapped in. Hey, a slide. What was that? It felt different than the others. More real. Like something changed. Huh? I feel good. Trusty revolver. The heck? I haven't seen you in a long time. Finally free. Another photographic slide. Ammunition. Stock, max. Does it do standard pistol rounds? Less accurate, does more damage. Same ammunition as the semi-automatic. Well, there's slide eight. Wow. I see. Oh, each one of those actually have bullets in them. Less accurate, but more damage. That's curious. All right. Well, I got a slide. Do I have anything else worth going back with? Didn't really get any parts and not really any gel. No reason to go back. Alright. Well, let's go upstairs and get that chip. Oh, there's not another statue. Keeping my eye out, anyways. There's another upstairs area with a bunch of those tubes. What was it? O one two eight. Here we go. Oh, one, two, eight. I did remember. Okay, let's see what happens. All right. Of course, they have a section like this. This was a tapping into someone's head. That was a thing from the first game. Teeny shiny. Unity cerebral chip. Oh, thank God he's already dead. 
I gotta get out of this lab. Agreed. Some of them got up. One. Two. At least two, I think. Oh, that's down below, and I think more got up than just the ones in that room with me. Oh boy, sounds like there's a ton. Move the body. Weird. I hear two to three. You just stand there, looking this way. No, you don't. There's still more. Or did her scream wake up more?
Are you? Don't. Damn it. Stand up. Well, that wasn't great. Huh. Alright. So, just base... Right now, anyways, because of time constraints, I actually need to go back this way. Why are these doors... Okay, they were just broken. That's fine. Alright, for time reasons, I have to go back this way. Also, we do have that slide. So let's take care of that. Alright. Kidman, come in. I'm here, Sebastian. What's up? You ever get the feeling you don't know what's real anymore? <laughs> More than most people. Although probably not as much as... Yeah. The first time I was inside STEM, I didn't know I was in it. Even when I got out, I was never totally sure that I'd ever left. And when I tried to explain what happened... People told you you were crazy. Yeah. Of course. If someone came to me with my story, I'd have them committed for their own protection. I know. I'm with Mobius, and it still took me a while to adjust after being yeah. there. It was like living in a perpetual state of deja vu. Sometimes I still get a little confused. And that's why you stayed out this time? I don't ever want to go back into STEM again if I can avoid it. Don't blame you. Consider yourself lucky. Dreaming is like having deja vu in the middle of a dream about deja vu. Oh boy. <laughs> I hope I can make it out of here with my mind intact. I just hope you make it out of there, period. I'm not sure anyone gets out with their mind completely intact. STEM marks you in ways that I think no one's aware of yet. Yeah, I agree with those sentiments. Sentiments. Bleh. Pronunciation. <laughs> ha! I like that. I told you to be careful with that thing, Sykes. Hope you made it out. Got a couple more. Looking good. Alright. Let's see, I got like, no parts or gel. I only have 4k gel. Not great. Only ten parts. No reason to go that way. There was that, though. Alright. Anyways. Ah. No, I already turned in the locker key. There aren't any others. Alright. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Next time, we're going to proceed back through the Restricted Labs and after Hoffman. So anyways, I'm going to see all of you guys later. Bye.